So I'm here with David Dean. Tell me about the situation in Wimbledon. OK, well, certainly um, London really does have the best public transport system in the world. Uh, there's an infinite variety of travel options for you. Uh, of course, in rush hour, we really do need all of the buses and they're at capacity and they're uh, very well used. But post rush hour, uh, the number of passengers diminishes very quickly which means that we have lots of empty buses on our roads. And you will see buses go past with three or four people on very, very frequently. And why is that? Uh, well, simply, uh, it's history. Uh, the bus companies are given a contract uh, to say we need this number of buses per hour throughout the day. The reality is, with technology, with Oyster, we know exactly how many people are on the buses. Last night I was on a ghost bus, travelling back from Kingston all the way to Putney Bridge virtually empty all the way. Today, we're outside peak times in Wimbledon town centre, an economically vibrant part of the yeah, capital, yeah. surrounded by ghost buses. Ghost buses. In a ghost bus station. Ghost buses, ghost bus station. And four hours ago, this was enormously busy. And that's when you need the buses on. That's absolutely the right thing to do. We've got more buses on our streets today than probably any time in our history, because that's what we need but not at every single hour So what day. we're saying is we don't want to reduce bus mileage. No. We don't want to take buses away and not give them back. But what Absolutely. we want to put them is put them at the right times of the day yep. when the people of London need it. Absolutely right. They need buses to get to work. The shift worker needs to get to work on time. Yes. So ensuring we have reliability, speed, the jobs express at peak times, mm -hmm. that must be the answer for Londoners. Absolutely right. Without that, we're not going to drive economic growth or meet population demands. So the challenge must be for a future mayor to take these empty buses, these ghost buses, off the road and put them on at the times of day yes. and evenings when Londoners need them. Uh, yeah, and that way you can reduce the cost because you're not running empty buses. The pollution caused by any vehicles is substantial and there'll be less uh, vehicles on the road. This is absolutely the right thing to do. Fantastic. So my pledge that someone who wants to be the next Mayor of London was not going to cut buses. We need buses. Buses are vital to the economic growth and prosperity of London. We need buses. The shift worker needs a Jobs Express that gets them to work. So my pledge is to improve the quality of the bus service for the shift worker when they need them at peak times. However, we cannot have all these empty buses, these ghost buses, during the day and at night, and these ghost bus stations in our capital city. If we reduce and take off these empty buses off the road, we can put that into a service that ensures that we have cheaper fares, cheaper bus fares for Londoners.